The F-7, or sometimes called J-7, after its Chinese parent, is an odd duck. The F-7 is a copy of the J-7, which is a copy of the MiG-21. The parent airframe, the MiG-21, was conceived of in 1953. Planes that had been adequate during the Korean War were obsolete by the late 1950s due to rapid changes in jet technology related to increasing speed, endurance, and higher ceilings. The MiG-21 was intended to bring the Soviet Union into its just stride and keep up with American counterparts and hopefully even overtake them. Despite the Sino-Soviet split China was able to gather enough blueprints and airframes to reverse engineer the MiG-21 and create the J-7. It remained in production until 2013. These days the F-7 is relegated to a trainer aircraft for Iranian pilots. It made a slight blip in the headlines in 2018, when one of Iran's F-7 training airframes crash-landed in the near the city of Hassanabad in Jarkavia Alia district, Isfahan province. Chinese state media quoted an Iranian Air Force public relations official by saying that the crash was due to technical deficits. Although the cause of the crash was not specific, Iran's aircraft suffer from a number of factors. Spare parts are hard to come by, though domestic production has attempted to fill this hole, although Iran's crew manufacturing capabilities, particularly for higher-end aircraft and tank components are likely seriously inadequate, or essentially rebranding, repainting, or rebadging of other countries' vintage technology. Compounding the problem is the excessively high number of flight hours that Iranian airframes likely have on them, given their old age, some of the airframes are likely from the late 1960s or even earlier. Despite upgrades and reinforcements, particularly to wings, there are just so many flight hours possible. The crash in the sand is a testament to that. Perhaps one of the few remaining roles that the F-7 platform can fulfill is as a test platform, albeit an unreliable one, for other technologies, among these bombs and missiles. Just last year, the Iranian Air Force unveiled a new series of missiles, supposedly precision munitions, called the Yasin, Balabin, and a new munition called Kim. Although touted by Iranian state media as new, the Yasin was already tested and fired from an Iranian F-7 fighter jet during a military drill in 2017. Not exactly a revelation. Iran's JF-7 fleet doesn't have any combat records under its belt, nor any glamorous attributes. Still, due to Iran's resistance economy, the JF-7 is unlikely to go away anytime soon. Caleb Larson is a defense writer with the national interest. He holds a Master of Public Policy and covers U.S. and Russian security, European defense issues, and German politics and culture. This article first appeared last year and is reprinted due to reader interest. The J-7 can climb at the rate of 155 meters per second, while the maximum and cruise speeds of the aircraft are 2,120 km per hour and 1,200 km per hour respectively. Its combat range is 850 km. The ferry range of the J-7 is 2,000 km and the aircraft can fly to a maximum altitude of 17,800 meters. The takeoff and landing distances of the aircraft are 800 meters and 750 meters respectively. The aircraft weighs around 5,292 kilograms and its maximum takeoff weight is 9,100 kilograms. The J-7 F-7 is armed with two 30 mm cannons, which can fire munitions at the rate of 60 rounds a minute. The aircraft has five hardpoints four of which are located under the two wings and one beneath the centerline fuselage section. 
it can carry a payload of up to 2,000 kilograms. The J7 is fitted with PL2, PL5, PL7, PL8, PL9, Magic R550 and AIM-9 air-to-air missiles, um, unguided bombs weighing 50 kg to 500 kg, a 55mm rocket pod, and a 90mm rocket pod. The delivery of technical documents to Shenyang Aircraft Factory was, however, not carried out due to deteriorating relations between Beijing and Moscow. This allowed the company to develop its own version of the MiG-21 through a reverse engineering process. The Chinese-made MiG-21 was developed in March 1964 and initially known as Type 62. It was later redesignated as the J-7, Jian-7. The airframe of the J-7 was tested in November 1965, and the aircraft completed its maiden flight in January 1966. The J-7 was certified as an operational aircraft by the Chinese military in June 1967. J-7s were produced at the rate of 14 aircraft per month during 1989. Despite the termination of production in 2008, the J-7 is currently in operation with a number of air forces worldwide.